Hey, everybody out there. Hope y'all are doing good. I know I am. Been a busy week around here, if you haven't noticed. Spent all last week over on the uh, Arkansas River at Muskogee at the Bass Nation Qualifier. And uh, holy cow, we goofed around and got the win. And it's a pretty special moment for me. And I just wanted to jump on here today. This kind of thing slowed down a little bit this afternoon. It's it's been unlike anything I could have ever dreamed in my whole life, this experience. I've spent my whole life dreaming of this moment. It's it's almost surreal. I've been thinking about this moment since I was 11 years old, of possibly standing on a Bassmaster stage, holding up one of those big trophies. And it finally happened this week. It's I'm 53 years old. It's taken a little while, but it's... I think it's made it more special at this point. And uh, what's made it the most special is all you. Everyone out there, I, I have been humbled to my core with all the comments, all the messages, the phone calls. It has been an unbelievable few days, more than I could have ever dreamed of in my whole life. And I am so thankful for each and every one of you because it wouldn't be possible without the energy and the, the confidence that all y'all have channeled through me this week. I, I can't even fathom it. It's, I don't even know how to put words on it. I don't. And I'm usually pretty good at jabbering around about stuff, but, uh, I've been at a loss of words for quite a few days now and, it doesn't seem to be changing much right now, but you know, I always go back to the old movie, It's a Wonderful Life. Old George Bailey. And there at the end, when his brother gives him the toast to the richest man in town. I did win a tournament this week, but there's one thing I do know. That's way more important than that trophy sitting behind me there or the money is the people. And I love people. And I am the richest man in town. I had a thought yesterday as I went and helped you Lucy do a high school tournament. We traveled all the way across the state to do that. And it kind of hit me in that movie. We just accept that that was the end of it for George Bailey. His community surrounded him and that was it. But you know, I'm convinced now that the rest of that movie, oh George, all his dreams come true. He traveled the world, he did everything he wanted to do. We didn't get to see that part. And I'm convinced that just is happening. And it's because I'm surrounded by wonderful people that truly care. I can't thank all of you enough. I hope that this week has given you as much inspiration as it's given me. I hope that it's given you hope in the sport that we all love so much, giving you hope to pursue whatever it is you want to do in your life. Even if you're 20, just know it can happen someday, and it might not be tomorrow. It might not be 10 years from now, but someday it's going to happen. Don't give up. Don't let up. And don't ever let anybody, I mean nobody, ever, nobody, tell you you can't do something or that you're not good enough or that you don't have good enough equipment or time or money to accomplish anything in your life. Because as you've seen this week, it's possible. And if nothing happens from this win this week and all this has happened, is that someone else will know or not give up. All of it I've been through over the last 50 years would have been worth it. I love all of you. I wish you nothing but the best. And we'll see you on the next one.